Sports. Hello again, everybody. The Badgers face Nebraska in the second round of the Big Ten Tournament at 8 p.m. tonight in Indianapolis. Our Lucas Mayer has been with the team since yesterday and joins us once again with a special guest at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Thanks, Jocko. I'm joined by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Jeff Patrikas. Jeff, thank you very much for being on. Mm -hmm. So let's start it out. What does Wisconsin have to do in this game against Nebraska? What is the most important thing for them to get a victory? Well, it's, it's interesting because it's a totally different game than the first time because Nebraska is going to have Siobhan Shields. Right. So you've got to control Shields, which they didn't have to worry about the first time. He had 20-11 uh, in Nebraska's first game in the tournament. And in the game against Wisconsin, Nebraska played zone because they didn't right. have shields. So they're going to play man-to-man. -man. So Wisconsin's going to have chances to get the ball inside and work an inside-outside game. So if they can get the ball inside and get to the free throw line and hit a few three-pointers here and there, they should be okay. Now, Greg Gard is always talking about the fact that we're going to focus on us and do what we do. How, how different is this game plan actually going to be because Shields is back in this game? I don't think it's going to be different from Wisconsin's perspective yeah. unless you see a dramatic change, which I anticipate we will um, defensively from North, or excuse me, from Nebraska. Right. If, if they do play man-to-man, -man, then you're going to go back to what you do that way. So, but, you know, they prepared for Shields, anticipating they might have him until it was announced that time that he wasn't going to play. So they were ready for him. This is a very different situation for Wisconsin. They're, they don't play on this, this second round game. They're going to do that now. How much more difficult is it going to make that winning the winning a tournament championship now that they have to play that extra game well it's got if, if they have to play michigan state for first of all if they win they have to play maryland there's right. no that's not a gimme and if they get past that one they got to play michigan state a team which they struggle to match up with but given what this team has handled so far this year a coaching change one four star big 10 play i don't think they're worried about an extra game extra day down here now going off what you said right there they're obviously defending a championship a tournament championship here what would we consider a success at this tournament well, it doesn't matter what I consider. What, what they consider is this. And they, they don't view it as defending a championship because there's so much personnel turnover. Sure. The way they're approaching it is this. They feel that if they wouldn't have got off to the one and four start in league play, they might have won a share of the regular season title. They want to prove that their, their hot run towards the end wasn't just a fluke. They would should like to show that they can compete with the top teams and win the title. Well, we will see what happens. Jocko will have the highlights for you later, and we will have full coverage. Jeff, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Jocko, back to you.